श्री दीपक मिश्रा जी स्टीम एंड रेस्पेक्टेड चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट गीता मिठल जी ऑनरेबल जस्टिस श्री कुमार जी वाइस चांसलर ऑफ दी दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर योगेश जागी जी दी डी ऑफ दिस फैकल्टी दिस फैकल्टी श्री श्रीमती वेद कुमारी जी अदर डिस्टिंग्विश्ड मेंबर्स ऑफ फैकल्टी मिस्टर रवि मतियानी सेक्रेटरी जनरल सुप्रीम कोर्ट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड प्रिंस इट इज अ वेरी हैप्पी डे फॉर मी टू कम बैक टू माय अल्मा माता एंड द डे इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट बिकॉज़ आई एम कमिंग बैक टू द अल्मा माता व्हेन द पेरेंट्स पेट्री ऑफ द इन जुडिशियल is actually presiding over this function in fact uh, it's a belief that whenever we go to a temple with our acharya we get double blessing double blessed to come to the alma mater in terms of true chief justice and this uh, law faculty of the university of delhi is one of the most uh, well acclaimed uh, law schools in the world having been started way back in the 1920s and today it is indeed very proud to have at least six sitting supreme court judges and several as the uh, the dean point of this high court judges and several distinguished senior counsels across uh, india and i remember the days of uh, very eminent uh, doyens and giants who are teaching us such as uh, dr upendra bakshi professor lotika sarkar Dr. Madhava Menon, Dr. B. Subramanya, Dr. Arabi, who are all actually well known across the world, and you know, later on, Dr. Madhava Menon was responsible in starting the concept of the various national law schools. And one distinguishing feature of Delhi University was, unlike other. law schools like the present national law school i would even today rate the delhi university lc1 lc2 or the campus law center to be far superior to the national law school <laughs> yeah the students are actually taught not only from a very academic and disciplined point of view but they are taught in a very practical point of view in fact case studies were introduced first and i remember dr bakshi or professor mulchan sharma or dr men would actually take a particular topic and ask us to think they will say students you think 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 and come back i am going to actually give you a problem you think and come back i will also give you a lecture they made us think they made us think on our feet and thinking on the feet before a court is the most important thing for a successful lawyer and that was taught to us for the first time in this great university and in fact this university first introduced the case law system which is later on formed by the universities but nowadays actually we only straight away rush to websites or many other portals have come 
several portals now last last week another senior educator started some portal and i think if you go by these portals i think our knowledge is not going to improve much one has to actually go through actually the case laws judgments reported daily my grandfather used to say say when i start when i enrolled you now actually baba start reading the reports and now start reading i enrolled myself in 1983 he said start reading from 1983 supreme court backwards up to 1950 and put uh, have a notebook and put our uh, uh, notes on every divide the subjects and put notes and also have a separate uh, digest and uh, those days there was no no, no internet and these internets don't actually give you any any actually site manupatra or whatever it is they don't actually give you important actually observations or findings in very important details and sometimes also print the mystery therefore in this occasion is a fair i think going to be recruitment for a future career i would appeal to all law students to actually take the help of the internet also but also work by yourself study all the judgments by yourself and go by your own original thinking and in fact the examples are people who are sitting on the dais follow them and you have a very great career thank you for giving me an opportunity